Okay, this is going to be a really quick and simple guide on how to get the skull boots, which are right here. And basically what you're going to want to do is, if you're not really high combat, if you're under level maybe 50, I would probably go with the hatchet method, which I'll explain once I get there. So you're going to want to uh, hatchet, if you, any kind of hatchet. It could be bronze to dragon. And if you are above a combat of 50 to like maybe 138, obviously, um, you could just bring the combat method. So... There's two ways to get the boots, and you can do any armor you want. You can do uh, rune, bronze, uh, torva. doesn't really matter. And, of course, you can bring sharks, cerebrus. I'm obviously bringing the top gear. And so, yeah, let's go ahead and get to the Relica House Portal by any means by any means necessary. What the heck? And then run west. I used a house tab because uh, I'm awesome, but you can go from Camelot and run up if you don't have house tabs or anything like that. So, yeah, run west after you tell it to the House Portal. And again, this is only a guide for Skull, not Haiti. And uh, let's get over here. Ba, 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 ba. And as you can see, there's a big fire over here. And uh, there's a lot of dead trees. And so I'm going to explain. First off, there's a lady. You don't have to talk to her, but she will give you a hatchet if you don't have one. And just talk to Vithar. And uh, you know, go through the options if you want an explanation of what's going on here. But if, you, if you're like me and you just want the boots, go ahead and while you're waiting for the wolf to spawn, you can check right here and it says... Um, you need a total of 120 logs on the spawn fire, and uh, she, she says uh, once you check it, she'll tell you how many you need uh, more. So what you do is, if you have a hatchet and uh, you want to use it, it's got to be one of these logs from one of these trees. It can't be a log uh, from your bank or anything like that. And add logs. Yes, I want to add my logs. And so as you can see, I just added a log, and now this will give me a possibility of getting the boots. Um, so again, if you're like a low combat, you can just do that and then let other people kill it for you. Which, uh, if you are very low combat, I would highly suggest doing this as soon as you possibly can. Because right now, uh, it's it's uh, really active and there's like 20 to 30 people in each world. But pretty soon, it's going to be dead content. So yeah, definitely get your yourself down here as soon as you can. And um, yeah, if you're going to go with the combat method, wait for the skillers, I guess, to add the logs. Or if you want to do your part, uh, and then some, then you can add logs and also kill it. Which is uh, what I would prefer uh, if everyone did. Because, yeah, it's just uh, quicker for everyone. So, yeah. And uh, once 120 logs have been added to the fire, uh, the fire will disappear. Um, we'll just wait for it. Let's see how many logs we have left. Only four logs to go. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and overload. Again, you can just use your superset if you have it. Nothing special. Um, this is pretty easy, especially with all these people. You're going to have a really easy time with this. So, look, right there, the fire just disappeared. Now, you want to stay out of this middle ring right here. Get, oh, I'm, I'm stuck inside of it. You'll go ahead and watch my LP, 1500, and it just got dropped. I just got hit uh, 700. So, yeah, definitely watch out. Um, I want to mention you don't get EXP when you do damage on Skull. Um, so you're going to have to just look at it and see if you're doing damage. In order to get the drop, you don't have to do the most damage, but uh, you do have to do at least one LP of damage, assuming you didn't add a log. But, yeah, um, a few more things I want to mention is... Uh, skull has a max hit of 246 unless you're in that middle fire ring which then it can hit up to like 800s so yeah don't stand in the middle when it first spawns to avoid uh, that and if you still want to do damage you can bring major range which also hits pretty well on this thing it's got really low defense to every attack style and uh, a few other things I want to mention is if it takes a while to kill it it will teleport it'll go to about right over here it can go anywhere really um, anywhere around the area so yeah it, it can teleport and it'll also do more than one of those fire rings uh, if you do take a while to kill it, but assuming, or seeing as there is like 30 people here, you can uh, kill it before it can actually have a time to tally. And it's about a uh, 1 in 5 drop rate for the skull boots, or wait, about 1 in 10, I guess, 1 in 5. And uh, what else do I want to say here? Um, you don't really need a familiar. Again, it's pretty easy, just do 1 LP of damage or add some logs. Really simple stuff. Okay, and one last thing I want to mention before I go is, uh, as you can see, there are a bunch of graves right here, and I don't want any of you guys to lose your items, so. Uh, I, I need to mention this, and basically, if you die around a bunch of graves, the item limit will dis uh, will make your items completely disappear. So, if if you're in the middle, make sure you watch your LP, or uh, or at least uh, just watch your risk. Don't don't die in the middle, or your items will completely disappear. Okay, so I'm over here at the IVs, and then I'm going to go to the agility course after I test this real quick. So let's go ahead and get on an IV. Oops, could put the boots on first. That might help. And uh, so yeah, let's check up the XP counter and see what happens. Now I should get around 333 EXP normally. And as you can see there, I just got 665. So it's basically doubled. And uh, so yeah, I'm assuming woodcutting and agility, they are both the same. 
which I now know for a fact because I did a few laps uh, prior to going to the Ivies. So now let's go ahead and go to the Gnome. I'm going to use the advanced route, but let's go to the Gnome course and check out how they work there. And now I already tested it, and I know for a fact that it doesn't work with the Pinnace Horn. And um, so yeah, let's get to the agility course. And now basically what they do is, for either woodcutting or agility, it will give you double experience. And basically how long they last is not based on how many obstacles or how many ivy you cut, but it's based on your level. So no matter how or when you wear them, you'll get the same amount of use out of them. So don't bother only putting them on for the last obstacle, because it doesn't matter. Um, it's going to give you the same amount of EXP from regardless of how you use them. I know with brawlers, uh, it's different. With brawlers, it's like how many obstacles you go over or something like that. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and finish an obstacle just so you guys can get a look at how, how much EXP they give you, which obviously it's double. Um, bum, 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 jump in, jump in the gap. And yeah, I am assuming they are work that these do work with the Refer a Friend program. Um, I, it wouldn't it wouldn't surprise me if they did. And let's go down this and get my 1.2k EXP. Bam, straight down, and just right there, got my 1.2k EXP. So yeah, definitely a good thing. You might want to get these, especially if you go for the Max or Comp Cape. Definitely gonna help me out with my uh, while Simon sleeps.